All right, Dos like Equis is up. That will smell like pot. What does it smell like? It smells like weed. It's fucking science. Mm. We foul. I feel like I could drink like 32 of those. Jesus, that's where this comes from, ain't it? Could be an air tank for the jackhammer, you never know. Hey everybody, I'm Alabama Boss. And I'm Ashley Taylor. This is an episode of Craft Brew Review, Mexican Madness. Let's go. We've carefully selected the top eight Mexican beers in the U.S. to compete in a thrilling showdown. Join us as Boss tastes each beer in intense head-to-head -head matchups. But first, we're gonna take a quick time out to say thanks to our sponsor, VIP Meds. VIP Meds is an online pharmaceutical platform and it is fast, easy to use, and most importantly, it is very discreet. So it's really important to note that you can go online, you consult with a doctor and get an actual prescription for these medications. And it is actually 90% cheaper than what you would get if you were to go to the pharmacy. <laughs> Yay for boners! <laughs> Woo! We love boners. Boss, ready to get into it? Very. All right, our first matchup is between Estrella and Modelo. Right now, Estrella is number eight and Modelo is number one. So we got the number one seed versus the eight seed. That's right, let's pop the top. So, I never like I've had Modella. I'm not sure I've had Estrella. May have, maybe on video. I have no idea. Love it. You love it? I love it. Here. This is the number eight seed. Okay, Estrella. You know, I like these so much. These Hispanic beers. I've always said it, like, I like going to a Hispanic party because, man, they're just like, I fit in so good. <laughs> Boss is a Hispanic. It's too weak. Really? I mean, it's like a light beer. It is like really, really light. Who is going to advance to the next level? Modelo. Modelo is the winner who is advancing to the next bracket. I think I should say this with it still being craft brew. That is a good beer. That Estrella is a good beer. Very good beer. And if I feel like I'm going to need to drink a lot of beer, I'm going to get that beer and take it to the river with some catfish poles. Sounds fun. I feel like I could drink like 32 of those. Jesus, that's where this comes from, ain't it? Could be an air tank for the jackhammer, you never know. <laughs> we have Modelo advancing to the next round. Okay, the next matchup is the classic Corona versus Superior. This is number two and this is number seven. And I know you're very familiar with this one because it is the second most sold Mexican beer in America. I don't agree with that. I didn't think Corona would even make the list. Uh, really? Yeah, I don't know why. I just have this thing against Corona. It's just weird. It comes out of nowhere. <laughs> There's no reason. Well, I guess we all know that Superior is going to win this matchup. I don't know. <laughs> Based off of how Boss feels so far. It's not bad, right? No, it's not bad. It's not bad. It is a refreshing beer. I would drink it. Obviously, but we're not, that's not what we're here for. When I had it the last time, we put a lime in it. I liked it better, but we can't do that here because this is a tournament and- No additives allowed. It's not a review, really. It's uh, who's the best? Oh yeah, that is, well, what we, we got color coming there. Oh, I'm definitely, we have an upset coming. There's no, no question. We got Superior, Superior over Corona, really? Yep. Superior is moving on to the next matchup in round number one. We have our first upset of the tournament. We have number seven beating out number two to advance to the next matchup. Next up in the matchup is number three, Dos Equis, and number six, Victoria. All right, let's see how this round is gonna go. All right, Dos Equis is up. That will smell like pot. What does it smell like? It smells like weed. It's fucking science. Number three Mexican beer in America. That's a fabulous beer. Yes, that is very good. If they made a candle that smelled like beer, it would smell like that. Oh, wow. This, this is tough. That thing right there, that was, it was extremely refreshing. I think I know which, which one wins. I think I know which one you're gonna pick and I'm really interested to see if I if I know you as well as I think I do. Yeah, that's it. Dos Equis wins. Dos Equis is the winner! <laughs> wah, wah, wah. Yeah, Dos, wins. Dos Equis is advancing to the next matchup. Victoria, I'm sorry, honey. We've got to go. All right, the last matchup of round number one, we've got Tecate coming in at number four and Pacifico coming in at number five. Never heard of this one. 
What? Never heard of Tecate, no. With the fighting chicken? Oh, is that what's on there? That or an eagle. I like to think it's a fighting chicken. What does Tecate mean? Fighting chicken. <laughs> Down the hatch goes. I've had Ducati. I mean, I, I would drink that. The question is, does it beat out Pacifico? I think it should be noted. My favorite Mexican beer, I believe even in the video of my reviews, was Soul. Love it. Why is it not up here? We couldn't find the son of a bitch. <laughs> I don't know. You need some distributors around Nashville. Something happened. It's not anywhere around Nashville. It's in, it's around me in Alabama. I see it, I buy it. I don't know what the deal is, Tennessee. Why are you not letting soul in? It's a great beer. And it was unable to make the fucking most important tournament I've had. Okay, Pacifico, they're all good beer. It's easy, it's easy for me. Pacifico. Pacifico. Hands, hands down. Pacifico. Yep. Beating out Takati. Moving on, we had Foul. All right, this is exciting. We're moving on now to the final four. Bring them on. First matchup in the final four, we've got Dos Equis and Modelo. I really wanna know if I know you as well as I think I do, because I think I know which one you're gonna pick. I really know. Uh, All right, starting with seed number three, Dos Equis. Dos Equis beats it. It's got a skunk flavor. I yes. knew you were gonna pick Dos Equis. I you wish I would have been. I, like, I, oh. I should have. I should have. Because I was thinking in my mind he's gonna go with Dos Equis. Dos Equis wins the first round of the final four. Moving on. Modelo, although you are the number one beer in America, you're out according to Boss. Let's move on to the last round of the final four with Pacifico and Superior. All right, we're gonna start with the Pacifico, which is seated number five currently. Clearing the palette out, clearing the palette out. Got a little superior coming on here. I thought I knew who the winner was before I started. And as usual, I was wrong. Superior. Superior, I again. I can't believe that. Superior above Pacifico. I'm surprised by that. I really thought you were gonna go with Pacifico. I really did. Me too. And I'm starting to get an aftertaste. Let me get a timeout. Hold up now. I need a timeout because Boss is saying there's a little bit of an aftertaste. He's got some questions. He's got some doubts. I think we need to revisit this play. I was wrong. Son of a bitch. This is Pacifico. Pacifico! Pacifico, I'll take it back. It's just a hint of a little aftertaste. Pacifico, moving on to the ultimate challenge. What do you call it? The last round, what do you call it, Liam? The championship. Okay, Pacifico, <laughs> moving on to the championship. Let's go. All right, boss, this is very interesting and quite surprising if you ask me. But for our final championship, we've got Pacifico coming in at, at seed number five and Dos Equis coming in at seed number three. Gonna go head to head and see who's the champion. All right, play okay. ball. I have actually bought several, being a few over the years since I've done the the first uh, Mexican beer review. Pacifico, I think Victoria once. Sold several times. It wasn't in this event. I've had those seggies I know at the hotel, because that's what they got, and that's about it. That all being said, Dos Equis is best. Dos Equis is our champion! Do we have a trophy? That's not a trophy, I know what that thing is. Oh! <laughs> Alright, I think it's only fitting that you funnel this beer out of this bird's ass since it is the champion. How do I do it? You just, just pour it in that bird's ass. Well, that's a little foamy now, but that's fine. You just dumped it right in there, didn't you? The Freedom Funnel. Made in the USA, the beer, made in Mexico. Couldn't get any better. Which one of the Mexican beer is y'all's favorite? I'd like to know in the comments below. And if you know what happened to Soul, S-O-L, in Tennessee, let me know. We're going to find you some Soul. Oh, aren't you going back home? You can grab you some. Yeah, we got it now, man. <laughs> All right, there you have it for Mexican Madness. We've got Dos Equis coming in as your champion. That's the way the Mexican imports tumble today. Didn't yep. expect it. I didn't expect it either. 
That's the way it is. Yep, that's the way it is. All right, I'm Ashley Taylor. I'm Alabama Boss. We're out.